forgot to log into the Wi-Fi, uh, which I was automatically logged in, I guess, because it saved my information. So I was thinking I would have issues, but um, anyways, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna get ready. Say hi when you're hopping on. I'm at the camp today. We have a busy day here. Uh, Veda is getting pictures done right now. She's so cute. We are doing tons of video content today because, um, well, because we need to promote the camp and uh, we need content for new TikToks. We have lots of pictures, but not a lot of video. So, uh, dropped the kids at school this morning and well, actually Adam did. I came up with the baby, uh, but we all got here at the same time. So, um, we should have a busy day. Hi, you caught me live. Hello, I'm going to do like a camp tour um, after this live. I'll like end it and then do a camp tour and a camp stay giveaway. Uh, we picked our winner last week from, we did a giveaway. And so um, we have a couple coming to stay from that. Uh, but we plan to do some more little giveaways, um, you know, throughout the year. Good morning. Okay, using primer today. This is the unique Glorious Touch Mattifying Face Primer. So this primer is not going to give you as much of a dewy look as some of the other primers. This is actually going to kind of mattify. So if you have any shine, um, anything like that, this is this is a great primer for that. I'm going to go in. I'm actually going to go a little darker than my foundation or like my face because I want it to match closer to my neck. Um, so I am aware that this is not the right shade, but trust the process. Because I'm going to be doing a good bit of concealer. We have photos and videos today. Good morning. Okay, where's my brush? Okay, we're gonna use this. This is the Total Package Brush um, by Unique as well. And I'm looking for, well, I was looking for a velour in this, but you'll be able to tell as we blend, it won't look as wonky. Because my face does not match my neck and the rest of my body, so. Can never catch me live. Today is your lucky day. They say it's freezing. Is it freezing for anybody else? Is it freezing for you? Off and on. I'm in the middle of the wilderness. I do have Wi Fi. Uh, but my streaming, we'll see how this works. If not, I might just do pre recorded video. So sorry. I have um, two bars, but sometimes, so if, when you upload, like you only need a little bit to like download videos and stuff, but when you're streaming, it's like you have to have a lot. How bad is it? Should I just end it? We think it's That's okay. Good. You guys let me know. I turned my Wi-Fi off on mine and it's still freezing. Okay. Maybe it's because I turned mine off. Maybe it's because Natalie, <laughs> Natalie was using, right she's sitting right here. She's like, I'll turn my Wi-Fi off. <laughs> so you have it. Okay, she said it's good now. Too many people in the same cabin maybe using it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So this is the Dolly cabin. It's probably one of my very favorites. It is so cute in here. Like, it's just, oh, that's, that's my junk. <laughs> um, but it's so cute. Like, if you're somebody, I mean, the lake is just right there. You can see it from the porch. And um, if you're somebody who you're like, oh, I love the idea of going camping or like going, I don't like the idea of going camping. I like the idea of nature. So I love the idea of nature, but I like cute things. Um, the camp is perfect for you. If you want to like, I don't know, potentially get eaten by a bear in a tent and have to like pee in a bucket, sit in your place. Like, uh, but if you love like showers, toilets, cute accessories, and you wanna like make a s'more and take a picture, 
and maybe go to the lake and fish, like, or just walk the lake. This is perfect. If you uh, are extreme wilderness, well, you might even like it if you're extreme wilderness, but um, like this has AC. Um, it has like cute little chandeliers. I mean, it's just like, hang on, hang on, can you see them? Let's see, like cute little, it's just cute. Um, so that's, it was kind of designed with like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> people like me in mind. Um, I just feel like there's tons of places out there where you can stay in a cabin with a bunch of oak bears everywhere and some like, you know, I don't know, everything's wood. Uh, that's kind of what you get here. We live in Tennessee. So the ca Camp Swan is in Mon Eagle, Tennessee, like technically Tracy City. Um, and it is so beautiful. It's like 50 minutes from Chattanooga and an hour and a half from Nashville. So um, not far from all the things. And it's like three minutes from a grocery store. So that's nice. But it's on 50 acres of just like woodland uh area and so it's but we were just thinking not really we those were me i was like i just want it to be something fun like every cabin can have its own theme and have like this one has like giant dolly parton paintings and um we had a muralist come and do a bunch of stuff up here and it's just like really fun and kind of reminds you of like if uh alice in wonderland camp site I guess but they're all on Airbnb um, and then also you get a better price if you just go to campswan.com um, I put everything you'd be so proud of me I we have all the links in the description today um, links for the camp new podcast dropped anybody listen to it yet And there are some cabins that are like more masculine. If you're like, my husband would never go for that. Uh, we'll, we have plenty of cabins that are like more Ralph Lauren Lodge style or vintage camping type look. Um, so they're not all really girly. But if you're going like with your girlfriends um, or like with my kids, the girls, uh, their friends, like some of the cheerleaders are coming up here and doing like a little sleepover um, or bachelor trip, bachelorette trip, any of that kind of stuff. I just feel like it's perfect for that. I left my setting powder at home and I am so sad about it. You can, you can go swimming in the lake. If you like to swim in lakes, I mean, it is like a lake, there's fish in there. So I don't mind swimming in the lake and uh, but I, the older I get, I'm more of a, uh, we, we have kayaks. Like I love to kayak the lake, um, fish the lake. And I kind of have gotten a little weird. Do you swim in the lake? Mm. I will like jump in with my kids for a few minutes and then I start psyching myself out. Yeah, I can't. I'm like, I can't, see. I can't see. And so I used to be, I'm not judging anyone else who swims in the lake either. I used to swim in the lake all the time growing up. And then it was like, I don't know, just I'm not as much of a swimmer in it. I'll like tube behind a boat. And when I fall off, I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's get me back on the tube or back in the, um, <laughs> back in the boat. Uh, I don't want to just be hanging out in the lake. Um, so anyways. Uh, shade foundation. Today I used satin for my foundation shade and then I used velour for my concealer and I'm hoping I have enough setting powder um, on this sponge from another day to barely set my makeup. So it is great though. It's cooler up here than it is in Chattanooga, you know, because you're like on the mountain. And so it's about 10 degrees cooler. So they're, whereas in Chattanooga, we don't really get snow. Uh, you do get snow here, um, on the mountain and that's exciting. That's how you are too. You still love swimming the lake. Not so much anymore. I know it's like, it changes the older you get. I'm kind of the same about the, the ocean. I love to snorkel, except I get very scared 
of what's in the ocean. So I have found I hate being dropped off in a boat, like where I can't get to shore or I can't touch, but I do not mind being in the same water if I came in from the beach to snorkel, but I can easily escape as if I could escape a shark. I have no idea. I'm not a great swimmer and they're so fast. Whatever is in there, I, I'm sure I probably couldn't escape it anyways, but um, I like to think, do you feel safer if you can like walk to shore or you don't care either way? Natalie's in here with me, by the way, in case you're like, oh, what's going on? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, because I guess it's like the fear of like, I cannot see land anywhere around me. And they're just like, boop, oh, you're in the water. Also, it's the fear. Have you, like, you get in and you look and it's like, especially if it's clear or if it's not. And it's like as far as you can see is like water and you're like, hmm. It's a big ocean out there. Also, there's like, when we were in St. John, there were no other fish around. And so Adam was like, there were just some on some coral. And so I was like, well, if I was a shark, I would definitely come after me. There's nothing else even remotely filling in this area like um but I will say I like that about um St. John where we went on our vacation because statistically they've only had four shark attacks <laughs> in like a hundred years and so I feel like my odds are really good there but like my dad lives in Hawaii and um it's not like that there they have really 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 deep water like close to shore it's crazy. You'll be like, do, 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 2,000 feet deep. Like, they catch gigantic tuna, like, where you can see the boat catching the tuna from the land. It's insane. So, I can't do it. I can't swim. Like, you used to swim in public pools, and now you don't. You see kids being in the pools. No. Well, I haven't even thought about public pools. I guess my fear of public pools, I'm like, the chlorine probably kills it all. Um, but definitely wouldn't drink the water, but I do still swim at a public pool. Um, but it is kind of gross. You know, to be honest, I have a private pool with four children and it's probably, probably gross. <laughs> um, okay. Going in with Ophir's current blush. I broke my blush, folks. Look at this. Sad day. Um, I must have been being aggressive. I've had this though for, I, here's a great testimony about if you're, I know I did break this part, but don't, I've had this since August of last year and I use it, I've used it at least 60 times, maybe more, maybe a hundred. I have no idea. I use it all the time and that's how much is still left. Like now I did break it, but that's not their fault. I like was just trying to shove everything into my um makeup bag. Also, I have the cutest makeup bag right now and it is not big enough. So I think I need almost like a duffel, like a makeup duffel. Um, I don't know who's inventing makeup bags the size that they are anymore. Like who, what all can you fit in here? Nothing. Like, I mean, barely anything. Um, maybe I just have too much stuff. I don't know, brushes fruit snacks like you know I don't have fruit snacks in here but sometimes if I had a duffel I bet I would um okay that's gonna be problematic maybe I could nail glue it Probably. super glue it nail glue it I'm not sure probably should just order another one oh well it's, it's been it's been nice. Okay. Try a yarn bag? What's like a, I don't know what a yarn bag is, but I feel like I might need to know. Like, am I missing out on something? Way too small. Yeah, the bags I have, they are, they're way too small. Even this one, I have enough, I have two makeup bags with me today and I don't even have all my makeup with me, but here, I'll show you. So I have this bag, which I actually do like, um, but see, this is the one I'm doing the shove job with. I like that it opens, um, not big enough. I don't like it too, it doesn't fit enough. It doesn't fit enough, which there is quite a bit in here. This is, 
I need like a cooler, like a, it wouldn't even be a bad idea for it to be insulated because of like it melting. I'm gonna invent one one day. I'm gonna invent a, a cooler makeup bag and all the moms are gonna be like, yes. Um, how are food options? Uh, at the camp, mate, is that what you're asking? I'm just gonna assume it is. Um, uh, and if it isn't, you can ask me what other food options. Um, so there is one of my very favorite places to eat like in the whole world. It's called the Mountain Goat. It is right down the road, less than 10 minutes. And then um, this restaurant called High Point, you have to have reservations, um, but it's like one of, you've probably seen my stories if you guys have followed me for long. We go like for anniversaries or special occasions there, but it's like really fancy and delicious. And, um, it used to be Al Capone's like house and, uh, little, it's called High Point. If you are even, even if you don't stay at the camp, if you come through Mont Eagle, you should eat there. It's so good. And, um, so that's here. There's another fancy restaurant. And then there's things just like regular stuff within 20 minutes, like McDonald's, Waffle House, Hardee's, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, and then there's like a grocery store about three minutes away and then like a big grocery store, or we'll say big, it's like a piggly wiggly. Um, and it's about 10, 12 minutes away. So you're not like in the middle of nowhere, uh, for sure. But once you get to the camp, it's private, it's gated and, um, it feels really secluded. Like it's the lake and our property. And then there's like nothing around it for about I think 300 acres that way and then our 50 this way so it's like 400 close to 400 acres of kind of oh can you text my sister do you have her number and tell her i'm live i hope that doesn't kick me off uh is my family home close to camp so um it is not it's like i mean not too far we drive it's 50 minutes to get here from our house and then like my kids when they go to their dad 50 minutes that way as well and so um 50 minutes to us is kind of normal is the camp for kids not really I mean it's more for adults but you can bring your kids like if you're like my kids come and stay um you could come up with your kids but it isn't like a kid's summer camp it's they're airbnbs they're like cute cabins and uh but if you wanted to bring your kids along with you you totally can all right we're going in with this moody how many sleeps at the cabin that I'm in today. Uh, it has a king size bed right here, and then it has a twin trundle. So it has a twin bed and then another twin bed that pulls out from underneath it. So I would say like four, or if you had, you know, a toddler or two could probably, add it, however you wanna do your sleeping situation, but it has two twin beds and a king in the one that I'm in. And the one I'm in right now has like a, uh, shower, toilet, sink, all that. The smaller cabins, they have a toilet and a sink, um, but they don't have a shower in their room for the smaller ones. Uh, the lodge has a full bath as well, um, but there are like three sh private shower rooms. They have like doors that you walk into. They're like cute tiled, cute murals, like little gold and marble sinks. Like they're not janky or anything, but you have to like walk to it and it's about 20 to 40 feet, depending on where your cabin is. And you just go to get ready in that room. Kind of like your shower access is just like you walk out your little stairs and go to your shower and then walk back. Uh, but you have toilet and everything. When we bought the camp, it didn't have plumbing. And so it had like composting toilets and stuff. So we had to put all that in. Um, so that was kind of a big <laughs> project, uh, but all right, I'm going in with this color. It's just fantastic. It's this um, coppery. I really want a fluffy brush right now. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I forgot this thing has got, this is that fancy brush and it's like, four in one and so you just unscrew it and it has like there's a fluffy brush it has 
this one and so you have brush options which is really nice especially for <gasps> the way you say toilet with an accent <laughs> how do you say toilet 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 i wonder how other people say it toilet toil yeah. toilet <laughs> you could come and use our toilet today um i didn't even know uh, are any of the cabins handicap friendly? So, I mean, you park and there's like a ramp to this one. Um, like if Adam's grandma was going to come out here when she was doing better, we would definitely have to wheel her up for her. She couldn't have like wheeled herself, uh, because it's like a, it's a gravel, um, road. But then once you got to the ramp, you could come in or you could use a cane, like the dolly would be fine. The um, the lodge has like three steps going up, but I mean, they're not, you're not having to hike through the wilderness <laughs> to like get to these places. Uh, you just pull your car to park in front of your cabin and then walk in. But I guess it depends on how um, like accessible. Uh, I mean, we're kind of just working with what, what was here. It was, um, a summer camp from the 1940s and then it had not really been in use, um, for like close to 20 years. And then the people before us, they just did like kind of more primitive. Uh, they let people rent cabins out, but they were like primitive. A lot of them didn't have like windows or they had screens on the windows and it wasn't drywalled or anything. It was just, um, would you know just like an old primitive cabin but you could stay and uh that's how and then when we bought it we kind of added in like heat air walls like fancied them up um and so kind of working with the original bones though of the fact that it was a camp like the shower rooms and but I think it's really fun I went to summer camp growing up and um I don't know there's just something like super nostalgic about being up here that you're like it's so peaceful it's so so quiet it's like there's like ferns growing out like natural ferns growing out of the grass everywhere we have like little lights strung everywhere like it's just really beautiful I don't know I mean, I know it's like, oh, like we bought it. Obviously we like it, but I mean, I really just, we really enjoy it. Okay, I'm going in with that like kind of plum color. And it's really affordable if you have ever wondered. Like, um, I would say compared to, we've stayed in Airbnbs and they've been like pricey, um, but the price range here is like 129 to 179 a night. So it's super affordable, um, especially just because it has a lot of like fancy amenities. So just depends on which cabin you stay in. Where's Zeta today? Oh, she's out there. Adam's out there somewhere. Um, She's in the cutest outfit right now. It's got like ruffles on ruffles on ruffles. And oh, they're doing video of her right now. And I was gonna be, I was actually in some earlier and then I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, at some point I need to get myself ready. Um, Almost dropped that. Caught it. All right, we're gonna do brows. Um, maybe we should have left one if anybody liked it. Uh, we just wanted everything to kind of match so that, or that it wasn't misleading that like, oh, this is what you get, but then they come and they're like, bought a cheaper one, and but it was because it was like original. Uh, we do have two acres across the street that, I mean, if someone wanted to tent camp, they could tent camp. Um, and it has uh, two bathrooms and showers over there that they could use. Um, but right now we haven't done anything with that side of the property yet. It's like phase 4,000. <laughs> um, oh, this is gonna be tragic. Oh. this and I don't have a spoolie. Oh, I have a spoolie on this. 
and I have some brown liner. We're gonna make this work. I don't even have a brush that would work well for it. Man, brows also make such a big difference on shaping your face. So, <laughs> bummer. It's gonna be better than nothing. You caught me live? Hello. Okay, trim fit. I did a post about it yesterday, so I'm on my third jar. Now, I have had wacky hormones all my adult life. Uh, I have PCOS, I'm insulin resistant. So I've taken trim fit several times. I love the energy it gives, but I've never advertised it as like a weight loss type product. My sister's been using it. She's lost 70 pounds um, and doing so good. Now that my hormones, so I've just been taking it, but now that my hormones are like back on track, um, I'm like, it makes me feel good. I don't know. I don't like things that make me jittery. I don't like things that, um, I don't know. I don't do great with caffeine and stuff. And so this, I've been taking it now, uh, I guess, on and off over a year is when I tried it for the first time. And then, but this summer consistently. And so um, I was like, I, like when I travel, I like love the way it makes me feel. And so um, it will help with your cravings. It is really sweet. I mix it with like more than a bottle of water, um, but it's fantastic. Like if you're looking for something to help with your mood, it boosts your mood, it burns fat. Um, it's different than the like, trim from Modair that helps inhibit fat storage. Um, this is just something simply for energy. Like I love it. I also like noticed that, and this is nothing against Modair, like Modair helped me lose a hundred pounds. Like I feel like you find things that work, but I am like a taste person and I kept noticing like my bottles of collagen would just kind of be like half full in my fridge. Like I wasn't loving taking it. And then I would catch myself not taking it because I'm like, oh, I can't do I, the taste of it. So um, the U collagen like tastes amazing. Um, and then they also have, if you don't like taste at all, they have uh, an unflavored, um, but that's kind of been the summer, really the only things. Um, but I thought, well, this summer, I've started losing weight. I don't know if it's got, I'm on, I am on medicine, I'm on hormones. I have like a lot of different things going on, but consistently I'm taking it and I feel good when I take it. So regardless of um, my other best friend, uh, Brittany, who I was on this trip with, she's lost uh, over 70 pounds on trim fit as well. Um, and so, but, I know I like it when I continue ending up at like an empty jar of something. Um, I love to try new things as well, uh, but I will know like I uh, must not have loved that because I didn't drink all of it or I didn't use all of it. Or if I'm having to reorder something, like that's how I knew I was obsessed with Pomifera is because I was just like reordering. I used Pomifera for months before I ever sold it and I kept just buying more then I would buy more. And um, that's kind of how I knew, like, I love the skincare because I'm using it to the very last drop. And that is the same way with like the trim fit. Um, I'm like, I am using the entire jar, like, uh, and like their collagen completely empty. Also they have subscription. And so I just get it like subscription sent to my house and so it's like oh good i but i hate it when i get a subscription for example the protein bars we have right now i have like a million i feel like um we got on a subscription for protein bars for adam and then he quit eating them as much and then i ended up with a ton of stuff and so i know like hey i gotta cut that subscription off we have like a, a over what do you call it like backlog of uh protein bars but with the trim fit and the eucollagen it's like Oh good, I needed this. Or oh, I'm almost out. When does my subscription come in? And that's this is the Quadra mascara. So it's a tubing mascara. Um, I actually wasn't familiar with what a tubing mascara was. I thought it meant it was in a tube, and I was like, 
I don't know what the big deal is about this. They're all in tubes. So dumb. So I actually just found out this weekend what a tube, did you know what a tubing mascara is? Um, so it's, this serum has a primer in it, or this mascara has primer, it has serum and um, fibers, and then it's a tubing. And what tubing means is it has something in it that causes the mascara to tube to your lashes and lengthen your lashes. So it puts little tubes over each eyelash. I had no idea. I just was like, so weird, they all come in tubes. What am I doing for my hormones? I'm on a prescription progesterone uh, because my progesterone is like not, not working on its own. Just not making any like I'm supposed to. Um, my testosterone is also low and at some point ugh, that might be something I address, uh, but she doesn't want to do anything. She being my doctor. Um, so we're waiting on that part until just trying to balance everything. Trying to get everything into like optimal, even some of my vitamin levels and stuff. It was like, um, this technically you're in range, but it's not like what it should be optimally. And then some of the other stuff, she was like, <laughs> you are light years away from being where you're supposed to be. When you get a call during your lives, it no longer matches your mouth. If you hop out of the video and hop back on, um, I know it's super annoying. You can blame my sister. She's who called me. Um, but uh, if you hop off and hop back on, it should fix it. Right? Does that fix it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Am I still doing keto? I was for like a few weeks. Here's the thing. I, um, fatty foods, now that they have me on those shots, like fatty foods make me really sick to my stomach. And then you can't have bread. And sometimes I feel really sick and like, I just need to eat a couple pretzels or something. And so currently... Like I'm not, um, I just told Adam, like what was happening is I just wasn't eating. So it would be like six o'clock at night. And I'm like, well, I haven't eaten because there wasn't a keto option available. And then I feel horrible and like all these things. And so now I'm just trying to do like, it's just important if I eat, but if I eat a carb, I put a protein with it. So if I eat half a banana, I'm going to put like almond butter or peanut butter or things like that. If I do eat like some brown rice, then I'm going to put like chicken. Uh, what are you taking? You think you have PCOS too? So you can have like your levels tested and they can tell you like if you have um, it's polycystic ovarian syndrome. And, um, but for me, it, it was my progesterone that was a lot of the issue and, and then insulin resistant. So the last six weeks or probably seven weeks now, uh, I've been on like a semi-glutide shot to help with my insulin resistance and then the hormones. So for the first time ever, like getting my insulin under control and getting my um, like hormones, like I actually not really changing anything that I'm doing food wise. I, I pretty much been dieting since I had beta um, and then before I had her. <laughs> um, and when I was pregnant with her, I was just on medicine that made you gain a lot of weight really quickly, like steroids and stuff. So kind of didn't have a choice on that one. But um, even dieting and eating healthy and like getting steps in, a lot of times I won't have much success. Um, but uh, I don't think there's like a one. One thing works just perfectly for everything, every person. I feel like I've had to like, try this, try this, try this. But I'm focusing on like, what is getting me the healthiest? What's making me feel the best? What gives me energy? What's making me like feel good? And like, what seems to be working? And that right now is what seems to be doing it. Okay, so I used the, I got it on my lid. Ugh, hate when that happens. Anybody else? Drop an emoji below if you get mascara on your lids. Drop an emoji of how it makes you feel. <sighs> frustrated. If there's a frustrated. Do you guys want 
gonna see if I killed it. Huh, sad. That in itself should tell you on this palette. I just body slammed this with my elbow off this table and it did not break. I really thought it was gonna be crushed into a million. Hard. It hit it hard. Really it flew this way, hit that tripod and flew, flipped again. Um, all right, going in with a little bit more of this, but I'm gonna lean my head back. So a good little tip, if you are prone to getting mascara on your lid is like lean your head back. Also this uh, wand has like one side has rubbery dense bristles and the other side has like wide bristles. So you just kind of wiggle it around until you get it the way you like it. Okay, where do you go grocery shopping? Is it hard to feed the kids when you only eat certain foods? Yeah, I don't eat most of the foods my kids eat. Like my kids will be like, I want pizza or chicken nuggets or Chick-fil-A or Lexi eats salads. She's like my only kind of healthy one. I mean, what did they have? They had salmon last night. Uh, right now, uh, they'll eat some stuff, but on nights that they do other things, um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I just know like I can't eat like that most of the time or else I gain weight really fast. But it's not to say I don't ever have pizza. I only have a slice like every now and then. What I found to be really helpful is say I, even when we're traveling, so traveling is when it's almost the hardest for me. And so, uh, for example, Adam and I will get food and say I really, really wanted pasta. I will order myself a big salad and I will eat, like I will eat my healthy choice first and I'll eat a bunch of the salad and two of that pasta or something like that. So that works really great. Or um, just like if you're really hungry, um, try eating a healthy snack before you and a lot of times I can talk myself out of starving but man if I'm hungry all goes out the window I'm like whatever I'll just eat it and then you I regret it I'm like why did I do that it wasn't even that good or something and so I found that it really helps me personally um to like try and eat that healthy option first I'm just looking for the color I was just using. What did I do with it? Um, here we go, that pink. All right. So this foundation um, is the, the foundation I use today is the Cream Stick Foundation. I absolutely love it. If you have dry um, skin, it is so hydrating. If you have normal skin, kind of like I do, it's really beautiful on. It's very quick and easy to get ready with. Um, and it is, is it still half off? Uh, yeah. And it's half off. So if you have wanted to try it, you can get it. I think it's like $23. And I used the shade Himru for my contour and I used the shade Satin today for my foundation. So am I taking Ozem? So Ozempic is different than the semi-glutide, like they're a little, but in the same thing, yes. So I've been on that since like mid-June um, for shots for weight loss. So uh, just because the what my insulin levels were. And so they were like, oh, I think this will help. And I guess I was at like an 11 and you're supposed to be under eight. Anyways, since I've been on it, it's like helped um, that to come down. And so uh, basically my, between the PCOS and the insulin resistance, um, my body was just dumping sugar into my bloodstream. So my doctor was like, you could pretty much eat an all kill diet. And uh, this is why you're gaining the way you are. Like your body's just not functioning properly. So I'm like, oh good, it's my favorite. 
Also, if you are local to like Chattanooga and you are looking for a good hormone doctor, um, she is like amazing. I know it is really hard to find somebody. Um, and so send me a message and I can get you her info. Um, if you're just needing somebody for like, she just says it is thorough, like blood work. Um, but it's really helpful. What I used on my lips today was the pouty pink. No. Mm -hmm. Yep. Pouty pink. And um, the tan I used in the center was Naughty Biscotti. And then I'm using the Pink Lily little. These are what they are. They're like the Pink Lily Beauty Radiant Bloom Highlighter. Okay, and I just put it right there. I'm gonna wipe that off. Uh, where are you at? I'm up at Camp Swan. I am in the um, Dolly cabin right now. So, uh, all right, you guys, I'm gonna hop off here. I feel like I, I'm sure they're waiting on me and Veda is probably driving Adam crazy. So I'm gonna pop this right in here. Um, and then a little more on this side just to brighten up. <laughs> 